ask, and that is, who do we worship? A very big question. Who do we worship? So we actually worship he who made us, he whom we are going to return to. That's who we worship. So we worship the creator of entire creation. We worship the one who is in absolute control of everything. We worship he whom we are going to return to. That's who we worship. So we have a direct link with the one who made us. When we pray five times a day, we're actually going into prostration as well. And we're calling out to our Rabb. We're, we're actually worshipping he who made us, declaring that he is the greatest, declaring how insignificant we are, how helpless we are, how independent he is, how powerful he is, how merciful he is, how uh, superb he is, etc. So we worship he who made us, we worship he whom we are going to return to when we die. So the one whom we were with before we were born, in whatever form we were, or wherever we were, and then the one whom we are going to go back to after this stint on earth. He, we call him the worshipped one, or Allah. So that name, Allah, is given to him by himself. In Hebrew, they use the term Elohim or Eloha. It has the same meaning. Basically, it's the worshipped one, the one who uh, is the creator, the nourisher, the cherisher, the sustainer, the provider, the protector, the curer, the one in whose hands lies the complete control of absolutely everything in creation. So he is the Almighty Allah. We call him Allah, the worshipped one, because we worship him alone. So when I say Alhamdulillah, all praise is due to Allah, meaning all praise is due to the worshipped one. Who is the one who is deserving of worship? Whoever made me, whoever I'm going to return to, he is the one and the only one deserving of worship. And this is why when we declare the Shahada or what is known as the most truthful statement ever, it is La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah or Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah meaning I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship besides he who is worthy of worship the maker Allah so there is none worthy of worship besides Allah because he made so definitely I mean I will worship who made me whoever he is I will worship him I know that he is the one whom I'm going to return to when I die I know uh, a lot about him what do I know about him I know he has names and qualities that I will go into study understand such as the most forgiving the most powerful the all able the most merciful the owner of cure the owner of sustenance so that is Razak that is Shafi that is Rahman that is Rahman Rahim, uh, Qahar, the most powerful, the irresistible, and so on. So the Almighty says in the Quran, وَلِلَّهِ الْأَسْمَاءُ الْحُسْنَى فَدْعُوهُ بِهَا You know when you call out to Allah, when you're supplicating or when you want to praise Him, the Almighty says, uh, indeed Allah has beautiful names and qualities. Here He speaks about names. He has beautiful names. So use them to call out to Him. Call out to Allah using these names. So it's my duty and yours to learn the names of Allah. The most merciful, the most forgiving, uh, the one who replies uh, the prayer, uh, the one who uh, responds to he who is in need, uh, the, 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 the one who is the curer, the one who is the sustainer, the one who gives, etc. There are so many names. If we were to understand and memorize 100 of them, 99 of these, right? 99 of them, that means Allah and another 99 of the names that have uh, meanings, the qualities of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from which names are derived. It's amazing if we were to learn them, memorize them, understand them, believe in them, put them into practice, uh, we would earn paradise. That's what the hadith says. Now, uh, the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to use the term Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, etc., etc., you know, Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, you know, O oh Allah. Sometimes he would say, uh, O oh Most Merciful. Sometimes he would use another way of uh, invoking upon Allah through the, his quality of mercy by saying Rahim, which is a specialized mercy for the believers. So when he used to say that, some of those at the time, the pagans, the mushrikeen, they used to say, Look at this man, he's calling out to different gods and he's calling out to others and why. So uh, in order to clarify that Allah in Surah Al-Isra revealed verses, Say, 
call using the name Allah or call using the name Ar-Rahman, which means the merciful, which means call using one of the names of Allah. Any one of them you're going to use, these are the names of Allah. So you can use any name. You are not bound or restricted by uh, the use of a specific name alone. You can use all the other names. In fact, the scholars have mentioned something interesting that when you are asking for cure, use the name Ashafi, O owner of cure, cure me. When you're asking for sustenance, use the, in the name owner of sustenance, Ya Razzaq or Zukni, you know, O owner of sustenance, grant me sustenance, and so on. So uh, when you are asking for the mercy, When you're asking for the mercy of the Creator, you say, O oh, most merciful, grant me mercy, Ya Rahman, Irhamni, and so on. So uh, I have a habit of using the term uh, on public platforms, on social media, such as Facebook and Twitter, the Almighty. And Allah is definitely ala kulli shay'in qadir. And that's the name of Allah. And He is definitely Almighty, or powerful. And the Almighty, we know we're referring to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we say uh, the most merciful, we know who we're referring to, the most beneficent, etc. We know whom we're referring to. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you are allowed to use the name. You're encouraged to use very various names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that people can recognize who exactly you worship. You worship he who is all powerful. You worship the almighty, he who has all the might and the power. We worship him and him alone. So when we say the almighty, what happens is everyone understands it's a Muslim. We're using the term, we're referring to the maker alone, we're referring to Allah, we're referring to uh, the one who made us, the one whom we are going to return to, and we shall introduce them to the rest of the names and qualities of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we have the time. So for someone to say, why do you say the Almighty? I mean, why not? Where is the evidence to say we should not be using the name Almighty? In fact, we have evidence to say you should be using various names and qualities of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, of the most merciful, the most high. He is the most high. So if you say the most high, you're referring to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in the same way that uh, we should be learning these names of Allah. We should also be using them. Don't just learn them and recite them for purposes simply of the memory of a name without understanding or without even utilizing or without uh, practicing upon uh, the deeper meaning of that name in your life. So this was only for us to say that you should be using all the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You should be understanding the names and qualities. He is the all powerful. He is the most forgiving. He is the most merciful, uh, he is the most high, he is uh, the most beneficent, he is the, the owner of sustenance, he's the owner of cure, he's the owner of the day of judgment, and so on. So my brothers and sisters, this was just a short message for every one of us to learn that then there Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has many names and qualities in order for us to recognize his greatness and to know who he is and to be able to use these names to refer to him, that would be an act of worship. So to use the names of Allah is an act of worship. Fad'uhu biha. Use the names of Allah to call out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my brothers and sisters, may Allah bless every one of us, grant us cure. Ya Shafi, O owner of cure, grant us cure. Uh, o you who responds to the one in difficulty, grant us ease. And all those across the globe who are going through difficulty, grant every one of us ease. Uh, thank you so much. I was supposed to actually come on yesterday for this beautiful live session, but unfortunately due to travel and journey and so on, uh, I was unable to do that uh, in the right time. So Alhamdulillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.